Dr. Sribad Rajayar, founder and CEO of Global Placo Solutions Private Limited. I carry around 13 plus years of experience in drug safety and pharmacovigilance and currently a consultant and advisor for US and European based clients. During the time of consulting, I noticed that majority of the clients were looking for skills in BSUR, PSUR, PBRER, signal detection and management as well as RMP. These skills are in great demand and only a handful of professionals are available in the market who are properly trained and qualified. Also, I have been receiving a lot of queries on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn from numerous candidates across various countries asking for guidance on how to get into aggregate reporting jobs and what would be the starting point. This is when I realized the need which motivated me to start with the training programs and also to help them with a thorough understanding of the basics of the aggregate reports. I have made a lot of efforts putting the training content together. We at Global Placo Solutions have been providing individual and corporate training programs for organizations and helping them to prepare for their upcoming projects. We also have trained more than 8 organizations and 80 plus candidates already. Most of the candidates were from India, the US, UK and other countries. If you are a preview professional looking to improve your career and want to get into aggregate reporting jobs, then this program is definitely suitable for you. I would like to invite you to join my training programs which are formulated and specifically designed with practical and real-time based scenarios where you will learn about the background, scope, purpose, objectives and also all the section in detail. Now let's look at the training course and the contents for the report BSUR. Development Safety Update Report that is DSUR. Let's look at the table of contents. We have introduction, reference documents, objectives, scope of the DSUR, format and its contents. Now introduction or the overview. What is a DSUR? Development safety update reports are new internationally harmonized safety documents covering the safety summary of medicinal products during their development or clinical trial phase. They are based heavily on the PSUR format already used for updating the safety record of drugs in their marketing phase. Now the objective. The main objective of a DSUR is to present a comprehensive, thoughtful annual review and evaluation of pertinent safety information collected during the reporting period related to a drug under investigation whether or not it is marketed. This is done by examining whether the information obtained by the sponsor during the reporting period is in accord with previous knowledge of the investigational drugs safety, describing new safety issues that could have an, that could have an impact on the protection of clinical trial subjects, summarizing the current understanding and management of identified and potential risks, and providing an update on the status of the clinical investigation development program and study results. A DSUR should be concise and provide information to assure regulators that sponsors are adequately monitoring and evaluating the evolving safety profile of the investigational drug. All safety issues discovered during the reporting period should be discussed in the text of the DSUR. However, it should not be used to provide the initial notification of significant new safety information or provide the means by which new safety issues are detected. Now let's see what is the scope of DSUR. The main focus of the DSUR is data and findings from the interventional clinical trials or drugs of drugs and biologicals that are under investigation whether or not they have a marketing approval. Because clinical development of a drug frequently continues following marketing approval, relevant information from post-marketing studies should also be included in the DSUR. The DSUR should concentrate primarily on the investigational drug, providing information on comparators only where relevant to the safety of the trial subjects. 
The DSUR should provide safety information from all ongoing clinical trials and other studies that the sponsor is conducting or has completed during the review period, including clinical trials using an investigational drug, clinical trial conducted using marketing drugs in approved indications, therapeutic use of an investigational drug, clinical trials conducted to support changes in the manufacturing process of medicinal products. The DSUR should also include significant other findings pertinent to the safety of the investigational drug, including findings from observational or epidemiological studies, non-clinical studies that include toxicological and inventory studies, related DSURs if applicable to the investigational drug, manufacturing or microbiological changes, studies recently published in the literature, any other source of relevant safety findings for products in the same therapeutic area or class. Clinical trials conducted by a co-development partner if permitted by the contractual agreement. Now let's look at the format and contents. So whenever we are preparing a DSUR, we have the title page which contains the company information, name, the person who is drafting or who is reviewing and who is approving and also from which period to what is the interval period or the reporting period. Next is the executive summary where a brief overview of the complete report including the conclusion what we are concluding in the report will be included in the executive summary. Then comes the table of contents. We have introduction, worldwide marketing approval status, action taken in the reporting period for safety reasons, changes to reference safety information, inventory of clinical trials ongoing and completed during the reporting period. Then comes the estimated cumulative exposure. In this section, we will be writing cumulative subject exposure in the development program and patient exposure from marketing experience if they have received any marketing approval during this period. So that also will be included in the section 6.2. Now the section 7 data in line listings and summary tabulations. We will be writing reference information. What is the kind of reference document we are referring? Line listings of serious adverse reactions during the reporting period. Cumulative summary tabulations of serious adverse events. In the section 8, we will be mentioning about significant findings from clinical trials during the reporting period. That is how many, how many clinical trials were completed, how many are ongoing, long term follow up, other therapeutic use of investigational drug if there are any other uses, new safety data related to combination therapies. In the section 9, we will be mentioning about safety findings from non-interventional studies. In the 10, section 10, other clinical trials or study safety information, safety findings from marketing experience, non-clinical data, literature, other DSURs, lack of efficacy, region-specific information, late-breaking information, overall safety assessment of the DSUR, evaluation of the risks, what are the risks which we have identified and what will be the benefit risk consideration whether benefits are more outweighs the risks or risks, risks are more in this product and overall summary of the important risk if you have identified any risks that has that needs to be mentioned in the report then the final conclusion of the report so if you want to learn more if you want to see how a fully drafted report looks like if you want to know about how to draft single and fixed combination products, what is the periodicity, how to report, whom to report and where to report, what are the EU reference dates and what are the, what are the data lock points, what are the exemptions from submitting DSU wars. So now the question is why the need to learn aggregate reports. Learning these big basic aggregate reports like DSUR, PSUR, PBRER, signal detection, RMP is very important and is considered one of the highest paying jobs as it involves a lot of analytical, logical and medical judgment skills. These skills are in great demand as of now and many CROs and BPOs and pharma companies are looking to hire candidates with hands-on experience. So if you want to learn what is this DSUR, how to draft it, you can 
go log into our website www.globalplacosolutions.com and you can register under the training section you can register and we will announce whenever we are going to conduct these uh, trainings we will announce by email you can enroll whichever day whichever is convenient to you you can get enrolled and you can complete the session thank you very much for watching